So which of the NASB content standards does the Teaching Games for Understanding curriculum model best support? And after looking through the chapter and reading all about Teaching Games for Understanding, I would definitely have to say standard two for the NASB standards is just it completely fulfills it. It demonstrates understanding of movement concepts, principles, strategies, and tactics as they apply to the learning and performance of physical activities. I mean, teaching games for understanding is you're teaching not just the skills, but why you're learning the skills and what you're what you're teaching them for. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. Um, I see it all the time when I'm teaching four and five year olds to play tennis. They learn a forehand, they learn a backhand, and they learn a volley. And it's not until they're maybe eight or nine where they learn why they're learning it, what games, what actual real tennis is, not just adios amigos and alligator. It's real tennis, and they're always kind of surprised, like, this this is tennis? This is it? And I feel like we need to incorporate at a younger age maybe a little bit more teaching games for understanding so that students know the actual game that they're playing and we can learn the skills and strategies for when they're in a real-life game situation. So I think standard two is definitely the standard that the teaching games for understanding completes.